It's usually when I make a video where it's like, what is going on here? It tends to be along the lines of, Pittsburgh, what are you doing? Like, this is a season that's going to waste. You're supposed to be at least playoff contenders, especially after acquiring Eric Carlson. What's going on here? It's usually being puzzled about a team that I thought was supposed to be better than they are. But today we're going the other way, because the Winnipeg Jets are blowing me away completely. For a team that barely limped into the playoffs last year and was made easy work of by Vegas, and remember after the series, Rick Bonus had that famous press conference where he came out and called a lot of top guys out, saying that he was disgusted by the way they played, and then Blake Wheeler fired back and publicly criticized how Bonus handled that situation, and it just got to be a really ugly situation overall, not to mention the impending futures of Connor Hellebuck and Mark Shifley. Questions of, will the fans still support the team if they go through a rebuild? And would the franchise even be able to survive one? What's the return going to be like for Pierre-Luc Dubois? That's really important. Are they going to get enough for him? I'm sure this is stuff that Jets fans remember from the summer. But then, things started to fall into place for this team one by one. It was announced that the Jets were not going to be rebuilding. They ended up getting an absolute haul for Pierre-Luc Dubois that's going to help them this season and beyond. Your number one centerman and star goaltender both decided to re-sign long-term with the team. And you found yourself a great new captain to help kickstart this Jets renaissance. And they had a good start to the year, enough where people were turning their heads like, whoa, okay, the Jets are pretty good. Especially Kyle Connor, who was playing like an absolute goal-scoring machine. But then, he got injured, and he was to be put on the shelf for a while. I think that's when a lot of people said, okay, time to see what this Jets team is really made of. Since Kyle Connor's injury, which was over three weeks ago, the Jets have only lost three games. That's when I was like, all right, what is going on here? And I think it's a few things, as it is with a lot of really good teams. First, their best players are playing like their best players. Guys like Shifley, Morrissey, Ehlers, and especially Hellebuck are at the top of their game right now, and obviously that's propelling this team. But it's also a lot of the other guys. I mean, Gabe Velarde has been great since coming back from injury. That's got to be a guy the Jets fans are ecstatic to have from that PLD trade. Cole Perfetti has had a really solid sophomore season in the NHL. And how about Nino Niederreiter? Guy signs a three-year extension with the team during the season and has gone out and been awesome for the Jets, especially on that third line with Lowry and Appleton. Even the early season low attendance seems to have been flipped around as the last three home games for the Jets have featured their three highest attendances of the season. And after winning both games of a home and home with Minnesota and alleged intentional high sticks, Steven Stamkos ripped a vintage one timer to put the Lightning up 1 0 on them last night. But then defenseman Neil Pionk goes in with an absolute beauty of a redirection to tie the game at 1. You'd expect that from Kachuk or Pavelski, but man, some soft hands from Pionk on that one. From there, the Jets seem to take the game and run away with it from Vasilevsky and the Lightning. Yes, they got a couple of breaks, like Vasilevsky getting the puck here and being like, hmm, I could make the safe play and give it to my player, but why not try to just sauce it through Nemesnikov's legs? That sounds fun. That resulted in a huge insurance marker for the Jets. Also, you guys gotta see this empty netter. Usually guys will try to rip it into the empty net, especially from distance. Or if they're close enough and there's no opposition around them, they'll just try to kind of softly deposit it into the net. I love how Baron just lobs this thing over Stamkos. Whoop! With that win, the Jets are now one point back of the Avs, with two games in hand on them in the Central Division. They look like an absolute wagon, even without Kyle Connor, and I now see them as a team who could make some serious noise in the playoffs. Quite a 180 from this past summer, eh, Jets fans? Let me know your thoughts on the Jets and the run they're on right now. Are they for real, or is this just a mirage? Let me know in the comments, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.